Hello, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of centralized fiber networks. Now, this isn't just any guide. This is your ultimate guide to build a robust, scalable fiber network for outdoor security system, including IP cameras and wireless access point. So let's get connected. First off, Let's talk about what a centralized fiber network is. A centralized fiber network is a structured cabling system that uses fiber optic cables to transmit data over long distances and at high speed. And these cables can transmit a large amount of data over a longer distance, unlike traditional copper cables. And fiber optics are immune to electromagnetic interference and can serve vast areas without loss in signal quality. Now, if you're considering expanding or upgrading your network with fiber optic cable, but aren't sure how to tackle the technical challenge, we're here to help with a free tag design consultation. Whether it's enhancing your outdoor surveillance or ensuring reliable Wi-Fi coverage across vast areas, our team of tech experts is ready to guide you through the process and offering personalized solutions that tailor to your specific needs. So one of the biggest advantages of centralized fiber network and a well-designed centralized fiber network allows you to add, move, or change elements within the network with minimal disruption. And as future demand grow, so should your network, and without the need for a complete overhaul. And the beauty of using fiber in a security network lies in its incredible bandwidth and reliability, which are crucial for high-definition video streaming and maintaining strong, secure connection for your devices. This means as your surveillance needs grow, your network can grow too, without starting from scratch. Now let's walk through the step-by-step -step process of building a centralized fiber network for outdoor installation. Here in the main control room, we have the fiber switch. Now fiber switch acts as a controller directing data where it needs to go. And up here we have the SFP module. Now SFP module will connect your switches to the fiber optic cable. This is where you connect with it. And today, we are using this four-string fiber optic cable. It is like your highway, and each string is like a link directing traffic to its destination. And next, we have our distribution box. It acts as a central hub, organizing and protecting your connection. And over this side, we have the outdoor switches. Now, with outdoor setups, Weatherproofing is critical. All external components like the fiber PoE switches need to be weather resistant to ensure longevity and performance. Now using our outdoor fiber PoE switches not only withstand the elements but also power IP cameras and wireless access point without needing additional power sources by using the power over Ethernet technology. So speaking of camera, this is our outdoor bullet camera. It is known for its durability and high quality video capture, ideal for high definition surveillance across your network. And one of the main strengths of bullet camera is their ease of installation. They can be mounted on a wall or a pole, and they're equipped with a mounting bracket that allows them to be easily pointed in a specific direction, just like this. And the shape of the camera allows for the inclusion of a larger sensor, which can be optimized for long distance viewing, making them perfect for monitoring outdoor large open spaces. So let's do the connection from the main control room. We have the fiber managed switch here. It has 16 SFP slot and 8 Ethernet port. It is already connected to our NVR and the internet. Now I'm going to plug in the SFP module to any of this SFP slot since we have plenty of them and then plug in the fiber patch cord one, two, since we have two outdoor switches. 
So this two fiber patch cord is connected to our distribution box so we can get a very clean and neat setup and it support multiple strain of fiber optic cable. Remember we are using the full strain fiber optic cable. They are already connected to each distribution box. Coming over here we have another distribution box. Again, plug in two fiber patch cord. One for each outdoor switches. So one connect to this one. We need the SFP module, the fiber patch cord, quick and easy. Already connected to an Ethernet cable all the way to the bullet camera. So it's providing both power and data to the camera. And other fiber patch cord are going on this pole mounted outdoor PoE switch. Plug in the fiber patch cord. Already connected to three devices, which is the wireless SS point and two bullet cameras. All right, so the whole setup is pretty simple. Now looking at our big screen monitor, I am going to wave my hand so you can see this is absolutely a live video. However, there are only two of them. Let's see what happened because remember we have three bullet cameras in total. Let's check out our distribution box. Open it up. Whoops. It looks like I've connected to the wrong string. Since we have full string, I use string A and D, but in between we have B and C, so I'm going to unplug it from string C and connect it to string D. Remember, each string is individual and serve a specific purpose in your network, so always double check your string connection. Now looking at the monitor, we are seeing three bullet camera. Again, I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is absolutely a live video feed. So remember, this system isn't just for surveillance. With the same setup, you can add the wireless access point to extend Wi-Fi coverage outdoor and also to add other IoT devices, seamlessly integrating security and connectivity. So there you have it. You've just built a scalable, robust centralized fiber network suitable for a comprehensive outdoor security system. Now, whether it's for civilians or providing Wi-Fi access, this network has got you covered. So if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech insights and if you have any questions or want to see more on a particular topic feel free to drop a comment below and thank you very much for joining us and i'll see you in the next video